Hello everybody. Uh, just out here in the garden and I was doing some uh, cleanup in my fire pit. And what I have here is all the leftover, mostly burned remains of the wood I had been burning in my last fire. And uh, the result is this charcoal. And what I'm going to do is I'm scooping this stuff out right now and I'm putting it in my compost bin because I want to make biochar. Now, biochar is uh, basically the, the remains of wood that had, has all the volatile organic compounds burned out of it, but still has structure to it. So, I mean, it's just, basically, it's not ash, because ash is completely burned out, but it still has this dry, crumbly structure to it. Look at that in focus. And, basically, it's a high carbon content material that with that structure has uh, a lot of nooks, crannies, air spaces uh, in it. And when you add it to compost, what it does is it absorbs water and all the nutrients of that compost. And with that, when it gets colonized by bacteria and fungi, it becomes kind of like a nutrient storage battery that you're going to then, well I, what I do is I spread it out onto the garden and whenever it rains it will absorb water and it can release it over time. It will absorb any extra nutrition like when I fertilize the field with more compost it will absorb any excess nutrition and it will promote that bacterial and fungal growth in your in my garden and make uh, which, of course, when you have that bacterial and fungal growth in your garden, that's going to help in the nutrient cycle, which obviously is going to benefit your food production. So that's what I'm doing right now with this. And simply put, I'm just going to shovel it here and bring it on over to the compost bin. All right, so I'm here at my compost bin. It's a bin that I had filled up. Uh, and is pretty much topped off and part of the layering system I use uh, some of that is actually going to be this leftover burned charcoal that I just take out of my fire pit and I'm going to sprinkle a few layers in, of that into my large pallet bins and in my composting system uh, I let this decompose to about one-third of its size and then I'm going to take that and give it one turning into a central bin here. Which is empty because, well, it's just empty for now. And I'm filling up another bin here. And when this decomposes, it gets filled up and gets decomposing to about uh, two-thirds of its full size. I'm going to let it decompose to one, uh, down one-third of its total volume. Um, I'm going to turn that into the center bin. So it'll have the remains of this semi-decomposed material and this semi-decomposed material in a center bin all mixed through with the charcoal. And as, is, as it is absorbing nutrients, it will turn into biochar, which then goes straight out and spread out on the garden beds. So that's the video here right now is... Uh, how do you make biochar? And that's just how I do it, just from the remains of the wood from the fires I have out in my backyard. So I get to enjoy the fires and then I use the remains of that and cycle that through my composting system to uh, fertilize the garden. All right, so out here in the garden, you can see this is uh, some biochar I have and it's out in the field on my garden beds. And this has been here for you know, probably a couple of years at least now. And even though it's a larger chunk, it will break down over time into smaller and smaller chunks, but it will not disappear. Now, because there's such a high carbon content and because it is a charred material, it doesn't really decompose in the compost bins that I have, nor does it decompose out here in the garden. So once you start spreading biochar out in the garden, it becomes a nutrient battery 
and basically a condominium for bacteria and fungi to, to inhabit and it's going to be there for hundreds and hundreds of years. It will not decompose. So once you have it out in the field, as I do all over the place here, um, that's going to continue working and uh, providing that, uh, let's say, housing or accommodation for the fungus and bacteria to live and just help in the nutrient cycle night nutrient cycling and the fertility of my garden. So if you ever heard about biochar before and wonder what all the fuss is about, it, uh, it's really a neat little thing to have out in the garden and uh, uh, let's face it, it's just habitat for the soil microorganisms. So I've noticed a huge effect in my garden with it and uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, if you give it a shot yourself you're going to see and experience some pretty interesting results. Positive, very positive interesting results. Alright, so that's it for the biochar and uh, thank you for watching.